This is Dawn Olszewski and welcome to another episode of How'd She Do That? And today we're going to do this gorgeous herringbone technique and with just scraps of pattern paper you too can achieve this wonderful texture look. So let's get started. To prepare our base I'm using a 3 and 3 quarter inch by 5 inch piece of very vanilla cardstock um, but you could use any neutral. I'm also using a piece of um, Sizzix ad adhesive sheets. These are um, essentially multi-purpose sticker sheets and they, uh, this one measures four by five and a quarter. I have purposely measured this to be larger than this piece, our um, base piece, and you'll see why here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this apart and this is going to reveal the adhesive, which is right here. It's the shiny side. Okay, get that off my finger there. Now I'm going to place this piece on top of it. Okay, actually we'll do it like this. And now I don't have to worry that I'm getting it exactly on here just right because I did cut it a little wider. I'm going to just press this down, make sure it's picking up all that adhesive. Okay, then I'm going to peel that this is that sticker piece. I'm going to peel that away and the sticky is going to stay on my cardstock. Love that. Now sometimes I just get a little extra on the ends here so I just kind of peel that off so I don't have too much hanging off those edge ends there. And our base is ready to go. So what we want to do next is add strips of pattern paper. So this pattern paper is from Stampin' Up's designer series paper selection called Everyday Enchantment and it is free with a $50 order during celebration through March 31st, 2012. But really any patterns um, would, like with, uh, would look good with this um, kind of technique though I have um, an affinity for this paper because I think it's gorgeous. Now the four different patterns are here and you can choose either side. These, these just There's actually six patterns that you get in the packet, but these I felt worked the best together, and this. And actually for me, I'm not using this side. I like, I like this side. So we start with one, and I'm going to place it at an angle onto my sheet here. All right, give that a press. Now what I want to do next is I want to come out from either direction like this with my pieces. So I'm going to put one here perpendicular to that coming off the edge and then on the other side perpendicular. Alright, get that down. Okay, so that is the beginning of how we put it all together. Now what I'm going to do, so there are essentially kind of our four quadrants or even triangle areas. One, two, three, four. And these are going to work, we're going to work in different directions. So we're going to put the paper going this way, this way, this way, and that way. So meaning, let's start with this right here. Okay, it's going to work from this angle here resting it against this one. I'm going to continue to work the pa paper in that pattern. So you can use any sides of these. Um, another tip when you cut your scrap pieces of paper, I actually like to cut them in di different widths because I like the look that it gives me when I'm doing that. Alright, so I've got a couple different with, so I got a tiny one here. Okay. Now, as you keep going out here, this will finish out this whole section. And then what you will do is you would flip it over and you would trim your edges off here, just against obviously the paper there. This is your template for cutting. All right. And that's what it's going to start to look like. Now, you can go ahead and start using these pieces again, either side. Now, the key to this is, is once you've trimmed it, I'm going to go ahead and trim this one again. Once you've trimmed it, you won't have a flat edge. So you will want to make that a flat edge so that you can use it again. All right. All right, so I'm down to this corner here, and um, I'm not worried how I'm going to 
that I have a straight edge or not. I'm just going to get this um, and put this in the corner here. And there we go. So now, again, I can trim from this side and this side. Okay. So that is that entire kind of triangle corner. So when we'll move it to the next one, and since these are going this way, we want to continue with this strip going that way. So it would look like this. All right. So you would continue to work these in um, different directions going around the entire thing. So then you'll eventually have it look like this. Isn't that beautiful? So if you can see the pattern going this way and then that way and then turn it, it's going that way and turn it, it's going this way. So isn't that beautiful? So you would just mat that um, on your card. And actually, I'm adding it on a piece of Poppy Parade at five and a quarter by four inch, and then I'm going to put it on my card base, um, which was five and a half by eight and a half. All right, we'll do that real quick, and add a final little touch here. And this was cut with Stampin' Up's framelits and add a little stamping from the Fresh Vintage, also a celebration, um, free choice, as well as the brad, the butterfly brad in the middle, isn't that cute? This piece was um, punched with the Triple Blossom Layer, I think it's the Blossom Bouquet Triple Layer Punch. And I'm just going to add that to the front of my card, and voila! I didn't want to cover up too much of that beautiful design we've created. So have fun with yours. You can create lots of different patterns. You don't have to strictly go with this, but I do recommend kind of starting with that starting point and going from there. So have fun making your own herringbone technique and enjoy.